Alyssa Rose and welcome to my channel. Um, for my first video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my pencil case video and just for context, I'm in freshman year of high school and this is the stuff I carry around with me everywhere and just like the stationary stuff I use on a daily basis and I hope you enjoy this video. So thank you so much for watching. The pencil case that I'm going to be using this year is from a brand called East Hill. It's very spacious and roomy and has a really nice design, so I'll link to it in the description if you want to go check it out. This pencil case consists of one large pocket and another smaller compartment which you can open and put some of your pencils in and it's separated by a piece of fabric. I put my main pens and pencils in the front section because you can reach them the easiest. The first thing I have is just a plain stack of Manila post-it notes that I use for note taking in all my classes and I really do think it's a big necessity for pencil cases. The next thing I have is a Zebra 0.5mm mechanical pencil and I use this for mathematics and for sketching out diagrams in science and other classes like that. I don't use this for note note taking because in my opinion the notes come out sloppier when you do them with pencil and I just prefer to do everything with pen. This is the only mechanical pencil that's lasted me more than two years which is why I love it so much. My main note taking pen is the Pentel Energel 0.5mm needle tip pen. These pens have the smoothest and fastest drying ink I've ever tried out which is why they're very good for highlighting and note taking but they're on the pricier side, so I usually get them while they're on sale. If not, you can just keep the original body and put in new refills. The next thing I have is a set of three correcting Paper May Inkjoy pens, and I'm not going to go into too much details on these pens because they're just your average colored pens, and I have another set of them, and... Yeah, I just use these for correcting in class, and I use the black pen for when I need to write notes, but I don't want to use the more expensive black pen I have. And I use the blue one for corrections and obviously the red one for mistakes. The highlighters that I use for class are the Stabilo Boss Original Pastel Highlighters. And I got these in a set of six. The colors that come included are yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, and orange. And the good thing about these highlighters are that they're mild, so they're not so fluorescent. And this just makes your notes more beautiful and easy to look at. I don't own any of the Zebra Mild Liners, mostly because the packs come with less colors and they are more expensive. But my friend owns them, and I did swatch tests between the Stabilo ones and the Zebra ones. And the only difference I found was that the Stabilo Mild Liner tends to smudge ink a little bit more and it also tends to pool more but I don't think those are drastic differences. Like I mentioned before, I also have a more colorful set of the Inkjoy pens and I use these to emphasize words in phrases that I want to remember in the future. Something I didn't mention before though is that these have a wider tip which makes uh, your handwriting while using these larger which is why I don't usually use them to write full notes. This is not a pen the average person needs to carry around. It's the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in the Tip Soft Chisel. I use this pen semi-often for writing headers and the ink is very rich and very black, even darker than the Tombow Dual Brush Pen one in my opinion. I know it's very extra, but I always like to carry around a couple of brush pens in my pencil case. This year I'm only carrying around two. Um, both are Tombow dual brush pens, but one is 452, which is a medium blue color, and the other one is N15, which is a very rich and deep black. I tend to use the thinner part of the brush pen more than the actual brush pen during the school year, and I want to get some Tombow Fudinoski brush pens so I can carry around less big brush pens to make more room in my pencil case. The final thing that I have at the bottom of my pencil case is the Big Intensity Fine Point Permanent Marker. 
and I actually prefer the point of this marker than the one of a Sharpie, which is the most popular permanent marker brand. The back side of my pencil case has two small pouches where I can put stuff inside, and in there I have my eraser, which is a Paper Mate pink pearl eraser, and my lead, which is Pentel 0.5 millimeter um, B strength lead, which is just a very standard lead for mechanical pencils. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this in the future. And have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.